Well, 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 you guys have been waiting for a long time for me to draw Harry Potter. Never got around to it. I just never got around to it. There's really no excuses there. But here we are finally, Harry Potter, just for you guys. What is going on, Drive 2 Crew? Ramney here with a brand new drawing tutorial for you guys. And today we are going to finally tackle the Harry Potter franchise. And the first person that we are going to draw, of course, is Harry Potter. On this channel, I make a lot of step-by-step -step drawing tutorial videos of your favorite characters. So if you guys like what you see, make sure to hit that subscribe button, make sure to hit that notification bell, and don't forget to like this video as well. For all of you Potterheads who have been waiting for a long time for this tutorial, here you go. I hope you guys enjoy. Uh, I do have plans to, you know, complete the uh, three main characters of Harry Potter and maybe a couple of the um, other characters that are still pretty major, you know. Uh, there's tons of characters out there. Let me know in the comment section who your favorite Harry Potter character is, and uh, maybe I'll do a tutorial on him or her. So yeah, in the comment section, I'd love to know. Anyway, going back to Harry, before you start, be sure to read the description of this video. Down there, you'll find a list of my drawing tools, some tips to succeed in your drawing as you're following this tutorial, how to make tutorial suggestions if you have any, and best of all, a link to a free coloring page that is based on this tutorial. And having said all of that, grab your drawing tools, let's draw Harry from Harry Potter. Shut up, Harry. All right, you guys, let's go ahead and get started with our Harry Potter drawing. Finally, um, this is going to be drawn in landscape mode. So I've got my paper in that mode. Now we're going to be only drawing Harry uh, kind of just a little bit below the waist here. So um, yeah, let's go ahead and get started. The first thing I'm going to draw is a circle right around a little more to the left of center. And that, of course, is going to be for Harry's head. I'm going to draw it about this big, just like that. Okay, and then let me zoom in slightly so you guys can see. Now, his head is going to be slightly slanted, so you guys might notice that my center line for the face is not quite up and down, but it's got a little bit of a lean to it. Okay, and then sides of the face, the jaw, and then the chin, just like that. Now, I do want to tell you guys that, you know, when you're drawing characters from movies, don't focus too much on making making the character look just like the actor that plays that character. So in this case, don't focus on making it look like Daniel Radcliffe, because if you guys do that, then I mean, it's up to you if you want to do that. But that's not what I really want you guys to focus on. I just want you guys to focus on drawing the figure right and, and getting like the details of the character right so that it looks like the character. But, you know, don't worry too much about the face. Anyway, so line down the side here. That's the neck. And then the other side of the neck is right here. So you don't want that too wide. And then about this, this much going down. Okay. Now what we want to do is about this far down from the chin. I'm going to draw a line across like this. And about uh, a good amount, about like this far away. I'm going to draw a line, and I'm going to draw it going down. And then about this far away, kind of just trying to gauge it using my uh, my reference photo here. About this far away, and about this far away, yeah, from each other. I'm just using this as a guideline. What you want to do is just draw these two lines going down, like that and like that, and then kind of just Here's a square, just a little bit past that is gonna be the waist. And I'm gonna draw the waist, kind of just eyeballing it. That's a good spot for it right there, okay? So there we have kind of like where we want Harry's uh, chest or torso to be, okay? So now I'm going to kind of connect these here. And it is a little bit broad, but that's okay because we will be doing something. Uh, he is wearing a hood, so you know, that's going to be play a factor into making his uh, shoulders look so broad. But uh, that's that's a, that's a good size. So you kind of want to get that. Now the center of the chest is going to be uh, closer to the left than to the right. So this right here is a skinnier rectangle than this right here. Okay, there you go. Now right around here in this corner, we're going to draw 
Harry's hand. Let me zoom in. And this is going to be a bit tricky. So let's see if we can get that. Uh, he will be holding a book. So I'm going to kind of just erase parts of this so that it's a lot lighter. Of course, you want to make sure that this is drawn lighter than you'd like it. Okay, I'm going to draw a line right here, just roughly. And then two lines going across like this and another line going down. So that's going to be the top part of the book. Okay, I'm going to now go down, two lines down and two lines this way. So you guys can see that that's the book. The spine is up here. And then here are the pages. And then here are the pages here at the bottom. He's going to be holding on to the book. So about this far in, right around here. First, I'm going to draw a thumb. Kind of looks like that. Okay, and then this makes like a an angled turn this way, and then another angled turn into the side. There you go. I'm going to lightly erase this. So now we've kind of got the uh, one side of the hand there. If you draw each individual finger, it's going to go like this. One, two, and it goes in like that. And the third one's going to go in. So you guys notice that the waistline and the hand are sort of in line with each other. Okay, and then the fourth knuckle, we just don't see it. So I'm going to turn my hand this way. This goes across like this. Close that off. You don't see the pinky, but you do see the other side of the book right here. So you close that off. There you go. And then, you know, imagine the book is going up like that. And then you've got the rest of Harry's arm sort of going in that way. There you go. Let me move this down. That's better. Okay, so now let's draw a little bit of a shoulder right here. Now you don't want to, like I said, you don't want like superhuman manly proportions here. Just an average looking 10 or how, how, what have you, year old kid. Okay, so there you go. And then I'm just going to draw the forearm and then the arm going down. Now I'm not too worried about this because it is going to be covered by like baggy sleeves. Okay, there you, there's our one side and then the other side is going to be shoulder again. I'm going to draw the shoulders like this. He does look wide, but that's because he is wearing a cloak. Okay, and then I'm going to draw the arm going down like this and this. And then I'm going to draw the, the fingers or the hand and it's going to be right around here. So Okay, there's one finger right there. It looks like a medicine pill. The other one is gonna be just below it like this. And then this goes in. Now what I actually want this to do is I want this to be holding the wand. So if I could just like get in between those two fingers that we just started drawing and kind of draw straight two straight lines kind of pointing upwards not worried about where to end it yet but um while i'm doing that i also want to make sure that i'm not drawing fingers that are too fat which i kind of am doing there you go okay, and then the next one below it here i'm going to draw the knuckle there okay so here we have the fingernail this one, the fingernail is going to be right here. Okay. And then the next one is going to be right here. And then the last one is going to be right here. And then we draw the, what do you call this part? The palm, the, the actual hand itself is going to go like this. Now that looks a little bit weird, so let's fix it. Okay. Let me zoom in, move this to the center. So if yours is looking like this, that is an easy fix. What we're going to do is we're going to end off the wand right here where, the, where it comes out of the pinky. We're going to bring this down around, okay, diagonal this way and then up. And then the thumb should be right here and it should be kind of like 
pressing against the wand. So I don't know if you guys can kind of picture what I'm trying to get at here. And maybe my approach was a little bit off, but uh, if you bear with me, if you just connect this like that to the knuckles, and then right here is a bend. And then right here and there. And you guys can kind of picture the hand. So like this, bend here for the thumb. And yeah, that's a fairly decent. It's not the best to be honest with you guys. Let me make this a little bit. And then this goes down. And now what we want to do is we want to find the elbow, which is kind of be right around here, and then just bring it in. So now we have an arm holding a wand pointing up. There's our Harry Potter. There we go. So you've got like the base body now. I'm gonna grab myself another pencil. And now, so let's, we've, we've got this, so let's draw the clothes first and then I'll start getting into the, the details uh, on the face. So he is going to be, let me zoom in. He's gonna be wearing his Gryffindor uh, uniform. So he's wearing a tie, like a Hogwarts tie and a black robe. Let me first figure out, let's figure out where the black robe goes. And it goes from here and it sort of goes down, about this far down from this, the top here, like that. And then from here, it goes close to the neck, goes down, sort of comes close together like this, but they don't quite touch, okay? This one goes down to about this far. See this point right here where the waist is? Let me zoom out. So it kind of goes diagonal, it gets closer and closer to that center line there eventually crosses it down here at the bottom. Okay, and then this one goes down, kind of just tucks in right behind the book there. And then goes down like this. So there's the robe. Okay, so that's what that looks like. So if we kind of draw this widening, then you can see that it's the robe that's giving Harry that that wide uh, body and if I erase this it'll make a lot more sense okay there you go and then let's zoom in and let's draw the collar okay we've got from here bring it down and then into the robe there okay right here this goes down and it sort of goes this way it doesn't quite touch the robe and it sort of goes slightly up and then into the neck. And then I'm, what I'm going to do with this is I'm just going to continue it. So it goes like this and then in. V shape here and then here. And then what we're going to do is we're going to make a knot. We're going to create like this diamond shape. That goes like that. And then the tie goes down. There you go. And then let's create those slanted stripes with Gryffindor, Gryffindor colors and then this one goes the opposite way. Okay, so here's the vest, the sweater vest. I'm going to erase the center line here and then I'm going to draw this big. It goes like that first. And then inside is going to be three different stripes. Three stripes is four lines. There you go. So these are Gryffindor colors again. So I'm just going to differentiate it by shading these two. But of course you want to color it with the Gryffindor colors, the inside is like that yellow mustardy color and then the, I'm not quite sure what the actual colors are, but the, the outside is like the maroon color. Okay, so yes, do forgive me for my lack of knowledge of Harry Potter lore. Okay, there you go. And then the robe itself kind of comes into a hood. 
from here, this point goes this way and then across like this. And then from this point, like this and then across that way. This one's slightly more slanted than this one. And then let's draw like the hooded or the hood itself is like baggy. So, you know, if we erase this part, fix this, the collar, and then make the hood kind of just ripple. This one goes down and ripple it down. Okay, and then just folds, folding in. There you go. There. So there's the collar. Just like that. All right, so I mean, it looks complicated, but you know, just break it down into several different steps. Whoops, I'm shaking my camera here. There you go. Now let's uh, work on the, well, let's work on the buttons on the robe first. The buttons are going to look like two diamond shapes here. One, two, with like these rectangular things sticking out this way. And then uh, a hook or a hole for the button. Looks like that. Shade that in for effect. Okay, and then right here is just going to be, I guess let's do something similar. Diamond shape. Diamond shape. And then goes across like this. This one is covered by the book. There you go. Now, let's do this right here, this collar. Now it's going to be, like I said, it's going to be baggy. So I'm going to start down here. I'm going to kind of draw the, um, the hole, armhole. I don't know what to call it. Okay, so it goes from the wrist here, goes this way, and then sort of makes this like shape like this. And then it goes back up like that. Be not too far down that okay so you see the hand and then you kind of see his the sweater popping out of the wrist there okay and then now this whole thing is going to be robe just just wrinkles in the robes what I'm going to do is I'm just going to kind of erase a bunch of it maybe I'll use this one and that's gonna be just all rope I'm going to start right here where the bend is of his arm. I'm going to draw a couple of wrinkles like this and like this. And then this goes wavy going down. And then right here. So it goes like that on the elbow. And what it does is it just brings itself down to this part. Okay. Now let's draw more wrinkles in the robe from kind of like the armpit area sticking out. I like to do my wrinkles like this with a curve. Not all of it, you know, just uh, this is kind of like, this is where it's tough for me to explain why I do the way that I do. But this, the curve on my wrinkles just sort of gives the indication that the, the fold is not like a sharp fold, but like a, a curvy fold on the fabric. It's not like a deep crease, but just a... There. I hope that makes sense, you guys some fancy pattern in the book. I'm not going to go too much into detail. It's going to kind of draw this rectangle on the outside of the book here that outlines the book and then two triangles at each or triangles at each corner and then that another triangle in the center here, a little circle in the middle. And then whatever the title is, 
like that. Book of Magic Spells and what have you. That's what it's called. And I'm just putting stripes just for texture. Okay. Over here, you don't really get a lot of wrinkles, nor, nor do you get any down here as well. So that's what that looks like. Uh, maybe a few more wrinkles over here, just to give it a bit of a balance. But uh, practice uh, drawing those wrinkles. Even I myself have a have a hard time drawing fabric, to be honest. It's one of those things that's really challenging for me. Anyway, we're all in this together. So let's draw the wrist. Here's the sweater. And then from here, I'm going to draw the armhole or the wrist hole. Goes pretty far down, actually. So it goes down like that. And then on this side, it goes wide and then goes down like that. This goes like this. And then you don't really see much else. Actually, let's just bring it in like that. Okay, so you see the, the sweater wrist right there, knitted sweater right there. I'm going to draw the knitting on this side as well, just stripes. Okay, and then again, like we did in the other one, I'm going to erase much of it. Okay, and then now I'm going to figure out the elbow part, which is right here. And then this goes down like that. Okay, right around here, we've got the forearm part going, kind of just going in. It's hard to see, it's a, the reference photo I'm using, it's all black, right? Because it's a black robe. So just add some wrinkles in there. I'm gonna bring this like in like this and then goes back out towards the top here. Lots of wrinkles like on this part. Okay, that goes this way. And for this, what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to bring it diagonal and then the armpit part. Comes out like that. Geez, that's a lot harder than I thought it was going to be. But uh, there you go, you guys. Just fix this up. I'm actually gonna create some wrinkles right there as well. Bottom of the sweater is gonna be here. And then one, two, three, four lines. Gryffindor color stripes going across there. Nothing much else in the center here. You do have the Gryffindor emblem. Now I'm not going to go into detail on how to uh, how to draw this emblem here because that's just going to take forever. There's uh, way too much detail. But what I'm going to do is draw the shield, draw the, what do you call it, the little ribbon at the bottom. It sort of goes this and like this and then down and in okay and then there's a triangle shape at the top let's just say another triangle up here I know it's not going to look just like the Gryffindor or it's not going to look the same but I mean we're just trying to make it look as much as possible like it and this goes like that kind of loops and then more embellishments down here, kind of like an oval shape. And then divide that. It's a lot tougher than I, than it really ought to be. And I'm just gonna divide it into four. Of course, there's a line there somewhere, but I'm not going to bother with that. Make that look more like a star. Okay, there you go. So there's the Gryffindor emblem right there. So we've got the body. All we got to do now is the face. And the face is the most important thing because it's, otherwise you wouldn't know this is Harry. I mean, you could easily draw Ron if you want to for this. Uh, before we draw the face though, let's just kind of 
figure out where the where to end the wand and the wand is going to go there's a bit of a thing here like a, a ring around and then the wand sort of ends right there that's a good length for it kind of just by the head there okay so now let's uh, zoom in on the face and let's draw not Daniel Radcliffe but Harry Potter I'm going to erase this bottom of that circle that we did initially but and we're going to leave bits of it that's going to be for the nose which i'm going to kind of just create a v-shape to signify where it is a smile just below the nose there okay and then now the eyes i'm going to draw a line across for the eyes okay and this is the tricky part and i kind of haven't figured this part out yet <laughs> There are the eyes right there, here and here, and then cross like that. What you want to do is you want to try to get it as best as you can to look even and proportional. Okay, let me erase that center line there. So it's not so big of a distraction. Let's draw the nose a little bit. Let's add some nostrils on each side. Nostrils are just going to be like um, these dips. So it kind of looks like if I'm drawing it, it's going to look like this. Okay, so here are the nostrils. Nostril, just like that. <laughs> There's a big nose beside Harry. There you go. So uh, try your best to try to get that nostrils just on the edge there. There you go. And then the sides of the nose there. Now it really does depend like if you want this to be more cartoony then feel free to add a little bit more cartoony features. Okay, it looks like that. And then the eyes in the middle, I'm just going to draw circles like this, there. Okay, there you go. Does it look like him yet? No, it looks more like <laughs> Voldemort with a nose. Okay, so now we've kind of got the eyes, it's kind of draw start drawing like the frame of the glasses around the eyes but making sure that they're um you know they're near where it should be on the nose so here and here i'm kind of starting there you want to make sure that they're centered along the nose there and i'm sort of very slowly working a circle because they're like perfect circles and what i'm trying to do is trying to make sure that the circles are big enough to frame the eyes inside them and you also want to make sure that those circles are um, the same size now ideally what you want is for the eyes to kind of sit centered in that circle so adjust accordingly like I am now it's hard to get this perfect the first time, so. You know, you can pause this video and then just work on it until you can get it right. And even I myself, right now, as you guys can see, I'm just wanna get it right, you know? You can't get it right, right away, especially when you're, you got the camera on. I'll just fix that later on when I start inking. But uh, inside, people, people there oh what a, <laughs> it looks so weird right now and then of course you got the eyes going across and you want to make sure sorry the the bar that goes across the glasses there you want to make sure that it's perpendicular to this line there okay now ears the ear part the top of the ear is going to be right here and the bottom of the ear is going to be down here <laughs> does he look weird? I bet he does. 
<laughs> just I can't help but laugh at how silly this looks that like Harry Potter minus the hair now let's add some um, I, I can't even think straight uh, eyebrows just above the glasses for me um, you know depending on how you have the eyeglasses around the uh, around the face you might have to draw the eyebrows in the glasses itself and that's fine okay two lines over here and then going into the top of the ears. Okay. And then let's draw the hair. So the hairline is going to be right around here. And of course the hair is going to go a little bit more higher up, right? So not like that, but you know what I mean? Let's worry about the hairline first. Okay. So appropriate sized forehead. Okay. And then this goes, from here it goes this way. You want to make some room here in the forehead because you want to, you know, show the distinct scar that Harry has. So hair goes waves this way, just above the eyebrow on this side. And then it goes, cuts in like that into the ear there. So it covers like a good part of the top of the ear. So if I erase the forehead there, then you can kind of see what I'm trying to get at there. It's got a bit of a, a, a messy part. The part is going to go like this. It's not quite perfect. So you got some parts of the hair going out. Like that. Okay. Hairline goes into the ear like this. Okay. And then comes out about that far. And then it goes out about this part over here. It goes behind the ear and then goes down to there. And then a little bit here as well. Okay, let's uh, continue. Let's create like that part here at the top though. Some messy hair coming out like this. A little bit mess, messy hair here as well. There you go. And I think that's good. I mean, really up to you how you want to add like all of the, um, the hair, uh, hair lines. Let's add some details to the ear. So just the line going down the side into the ear there. And of course, one, two, three. There we go. Actually, it didn't turn out too bad. Kind of proud of that one. And it's got a pretty prominent smile there, which I'm going to keep, I think. The eyes are a little bit wonky, but uh, I'll fix that later. Hopefully, I don't make it worse. And there you go. You guys, that is Harry Potter's face. We zoom out. That's what that looks like, you guys. And then I'm just going to create some lines down here just to show that he is wearing pants. There you go. And is there anything else? I think we're done. And that's it, you guys. That is our first Harry Potter drawing ever on this channel. I apologize that it's taken this long. And I want to thank all of you guys who have been waiting for so long for a tutorial on Harry Potter. Anyway, that is it, you guys. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll catch you in the next tutorial. Take care. And that is all the time that we have for this video. Thank you so much for tuning in all the way to the very end. I hope you guys are very proud of your drawings. If you are, I would love to see them. So please head on over to the Google Plus community and to Instagram and post your artwork there and tag me so that I can see it as well. If you guys are ever curious about the equipment that I use to make my videos or to do uh, my tutorials, I have a link to those in the description below. So be sure to check that out. If you feel like being extra generous, I have links in the description on different ways that you can help support this channel. Your contributions go a long way in ensuring that uh, I can make content like this for free for you guys, so I appreciate your consideration. If you guys did enjoy this tutorial, it would help me a great deal if you, number one, liked this video, commented down below, and most especially if you shared this with your friends, 
things in your social media. And of course, speaking of social media, don't forget you guys can find me on Facebook, on Instagram, on Google+, and of course on my website, draw2.com, where you can download a free coloring page of the uh, tutorial that's here on this uh, video. Again, you guys, all of the links to all of those are in the description, so be sure to read it. Finally, thank you once again for watching. I will see you guys next time, and don't forget, stay tuned for more so you can learn to draw too. Take care.